Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Oppo Find X5 Pro. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one is 1,299 euros. Now what does that mean in the USA? How much is 1,299 euros? The answer is $1,452.05. $1,452. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. But this is a lot of phone. Now we're gonna talk more about the price in a minute. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got glazed black and ceramic white. For the display, you got a 6.7 inch LTPO Quad HD AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1440 by 3216. Now that's 525 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front, an aluminum frame and a ceramic back. The phone is IP68, dust and water resistant. You got HDR 10+, 1300 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now the phone is running Android 12, with color OS 12.1 skin on top. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 80 watt fast charge. Now Apple claims you can charge your phone from zero to 50% in 12 minutes. I repeat, zero to 50% in 12 minutes. Now you also got 50 watt wireless charge. So zero to 100% in 47 minutes wirelessly. You also got 10 watt reverse wireless charging, also known as power share. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide, 50 megapixel ultra wide, and a 13 megapixel telephoto lens. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, and an on-screen fingerprint sensor. All right, so all of that for 1400 bucks, what's missing? No expandable memory, no IR blaster, and no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, she got the day off. Now let me start off by saying this. I've been using this phone for a couple of days. This phone has blew me away. Not only did it blow me away, it took one of the spots in my top five phones. And let me show you right now. Here's my top five phones for 2022. Speaking of that, ladies and gentlemen, late, but still great. White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my white shoes. Calm down. Okay, so here we go. Number one on my list, Galactus. Galaxy S22 Ultra. Number two on my list, Oppo Find X5 Pro. This is how dope this phone is. It's now my second favorite Android phone. Number three on my list, I'm going with the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Number four, the Vivo IQ9. And number five, OnePlus 10. These are my top five Android phones of 2022. We're not talking about folds. Now, as far as folds, number one, Galaxy Z Fold 3. Number two, Oppo Find N. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this. Here we go. Now, as far as the presentation, I already like it because look how thick the box is. You know what that means, okay? The charger is in the box. Now, if you notice, you got the Hasselblad cameras. Now, I'm letting the hype build up. It's six o'clock in the morning. Actually, it's seven o'clock in the morning. I just watched the uh, Oppo Find presentation. The camera on this phone is ridiculous, and I already put it to the test. The Hasselblad branding is not just a brand, it makes a difference. Wait until you see the nighttime photos. Now, I normally don't like to talk about photos. I like to let you judge them for yourself, but I'm gonna talk about them right now. The camera on this phone is crazy. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm so hyped, let me calm, let, let me calm, let me calm down. All right, Floss, reel it in, reel it in. Now, it's early in the morning. I usually shoot videos at night, so I'm a little bit silly right now. Here we go, Oppo Find X5 Pro. Okay, so first, let's see what's in here. Okay, now this is what I like to see already. You got your SIM ejection tool. 
Okay? Oh, now, see, now this is exactly what I was just talking about the other day, actually yesterday, with the Samsung presentations. Look. This right here, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. But this, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, premium service. You see, now look, if you spend, this is what I'm, this is exactly what I'm talking about. If you're spending 1,450 bucks on a phone, present me, all right? Present me like a boss. And this is a boss move right here. Premium service, I like this, I like this. I right, flick of the wrist, usual books and shit, pluck them and file them, and a case. Okay, not the fanciest case in the world, but it's a case. Okay, give me something to protect my investment right in the box. A nice little case. Okay, now nah, here's the device. <laughs> Yo, bro, wait until you see this phone. All right, that's your device. Let's see what else you get. Okay, now in the box, you get your 80 watt fast charging brick. Samsung, Apple, Google, pay attention. This is how you do it, okay? Don't sell me a dream. If you're gonna tell me that my phone could charge from zero to 50% in 12 minutes, prove it. And they're gonna prove it by putting the charger in the box. I like that. And this is gonna be, let's see, USB Type-C to USB-A charging cable. I right, shoes, you slacking on your job. You're supposed to inspect that cable. I'll give it to her later. Okay. Now for the coup de gras. Before we do that, check this out. Now, if you watch my phone awards, I right, my top 10 phones of 2021, I told y'all that the Oppo Find X3 Pro had one of the best designs, and this was one of the most underrated phones of the year, and one of my favorite phones, easily. Look at this. Bang! Woo! Hold up, let me take this thing off the back so y'all can get the full effect. Hold up, here we go. Rah. Let's get a little wipe down. Bang! Look at this phone. Now look, y'all know I love this design on the back of the Galaxy Note, but ladies and gentlemen, I think I like this one better. Look at this phone, look at the phones right here for yourself. This is some space age, aerodynamic, one piece design. It is incredible. All right, this phone just looks so sexy. I didn't think they could make it more sexy than last year's version if a phone could be sexy, but they did. Look at this. This phone is so sick. Now I'm gonna pause the video, let me set everything up, then we'll walk through the OS, and I'll tell you uh, about a couple of things that I don't like, and I'll tell you everything that I do like. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now before I turn this into a love fest, let's talk about a couple of things that I don't like. Number one, the price. 1450 bucks. that price is TGH. And if you don't know what that means, that's too goddamn high. All right, Oppo, I need you to calm down. And this is one of the things that I don't like. This is their chance, okay? Oppo, this is your chance to put your foot on Samsung's neck. This is your chance to put your foot on Xiaomi's neck. But you're not gonna do that by charging 1450 bucks. At that price, everybody's gonna get a Galaxy Note Everybody's gonna go and get an iPhone. People are gonna pass on this one, okay? This phone should have been 1,000 bucks, maybe an extra 100 for the ceramic back, 1,100 bucks at max. But 1,450 bucks, that's TGH. Next, storage. 256 gigs is not enough, okay? Especially at that price, it should have been 512 or one terabyte. Now the Galaxy Note at one terabyte, 1,600 bucks, that's a little TGH also, but you're getting unlimited storage. <laughs> 256 gigs, that ain't enough, okay? The minimum base for this should have been 512. Next, no 4K on your front-facing camera. Now, that's not a big deal to me. I don't do too many vlogs like that, but a lot of y'all do. You can only shoot 1080p on the front-facing camera. Phones like the Pixel can shoot 4K from the selfie cam. Next, the home screen doesn't rotate. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. The home screen doesn't rotate. <laughs> now, I know that seems kind of petty, but when you get in your car and you put it on your dock, you want to have it like this. Okay, the Galaxy phones, they rotate. A lot of Android phones rotate. This one doesn't rotate. I don't like that. And now, here's my last gripe about this phone. And this is another thing that I don't like about, what I don't like when companies do 
If something is not broke, don't fix it. Stop removing features that people like. Now look, let me show you something. One of my favorite features of this Oppo Find X3 Pro, and I talked about it in my review, was this, the microscope camera. You see it turns that little light on. Ew, look at that. That is so gross. Look, check out the fibers in the watch. I mean, this is insane. And you can even make it go even more. Look at my skin. Look at this. Do you know how much fun I had with this camera? The microscope camera, looking at my food, looking at my cat, looking at my skin, looking at all kind of stuff. This was one of the features that made this phone unique because a lot of Android phones, they all about the same. They just look a little bit different, but they all have the same features. Y'all see me reviewing, reviewing phones all week long. When I read the specs, they all sound the same, but there's always one feature that sets a phone apart from the next. The Galaxy Note, uh, the Galaxy S22 has the S Pen. This had the microscope camera. The Mi 11 Ultra had the dual screens. You gotta have something to set your phone apart. So I don't like the fact that they took away the microscope camera. All right, that, you know, that was a big deal for me. Nevertheless, now let's talk about everything that I do like, okay? If you're gonna spend 1,450 bucks, okay? Bring your Vaseline, bring your lube, it's gonna hurt. But when you get this phone, it's gonna be worth it, okay? Now, I don't like the price, but I like the phone and I'm not disappointed. This phone is a certified beast. Let's start with the build quality. Y'all know I gotta say it on this one, and I really mean it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. This is the white phone that I've been waiting for. And uh, y'all know I told y'all, I'm really feeling these matte, you know, frosted glass back feels on the back. I like that better than the glossy, unless the glossy is ceramic. Remember I told y'all with the fine end, the build quality on this, makes it impossible for me to put a case on it. I can never disrespect this phone with a case because I want to feel this. Same thing, this phone does come with a case, but I would not disrespect this build quality by putting a case on this phone. The ceramic back, it just feels amazing. Now when I do my phones of the year, I'm, I'm almost certain between this and the iPhone, and I actually like this build, uh, build quality better than the iPhone, this is gonna be my favorite feeling phone of the year, okay? Gorilla Glass on the front, ceramic back, aluminum frame. There's your triple camera setup, LED flash. You got your power button on one side, nice and low. <clears throat> Google, volume on the other side. I like that too, separation. You're never gonna accidentally press your volume button and when you wanna take a screenshot, you gotta do it yourself. Like you, you gotta wanna do it. No accidental screenshots, okay? On the bottom, there's one of your dual speakers your SIM tray, USB Type-C charging slot. On the top, there's your mic. And that's pretty much it on the front. Little front-facing camera. Let me see if I got something that's colorful. Well, this is not colorful. Let me see, uh, what's, everything is in dark mode. Okay, here it goes. There's your front-facing camera. Little tiny punch hole camera. I like that. Now, I'll take that as opposed to under the display if I'm gonna get higher resolution. I don't want under the display if that's gonna sacrifice picture quality. Okay, IP68, dust and water resistant. And again, the best part about this phone is the look and the feel. This is what a $1,400 phone should feel like. Okay, now it's a little bit heavier than last year's ver version. This one is a little bit lighter, feels a little thinner, and the uh, frosted glass makes it feel lightweight. This has a heavy, a nice, heavy, premium feel. I cannot stress enough how much I like holding this phone. When I took it out of the box, I was like, oh, you need to feel this for yourself. This video is not gonna do it justice. The build quality and the feel of this phone is epic. Nothing short of epic. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. You got face unlock. Look at that. Now I got it where I set the swipe because I like watch. Uh, look at, I like looking at the wallpaper. But you can have it where it just pops open immediately. But look how fast you see that unlock symbol. Look how fast that face unlock is. And you also got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Let's do three in a row. That's two. One more. Bang. Google, pay attention. This is how you do face unlock 
and an on-screen fingerprint sensor on a phone that's a thousand bucks and over. It's supposed to run like this. Okay, swipe up. Here's your home screen. Now, before I even do that, look at this. Always, let me let me wipe this down. Oh yeah, one more thing to mention. It does come with a screen protector already installed. Okay, there's my always on display. Now you see my, I got a picture of a car. Got the time, the date, and look at the notifications. Those bright, colorful notifications with the colors of the app. This is sick. Now a lot of people have been talking about Color OS versus Oxygen OS. Look at this right here. This is one reason why this is automatically better than Oxygen OS. You can't add your own image on the always on displays on your OnePlus 9. You can on your OnePlus 10. You can on all of the Apple phones with Color OS. Okay, so always on display, pretty sick. Oh yeah, look at this now, look at this. Look at this wallpaper. This is one of the stock wallpapers. It just looks so beautiful on this quad HD display. I love it. Now I wanna show you something real quick. Okay, I took off swipe to unlock because I want y'all to see how fast this face unlock is. Look at that. I'm just, I got the phone in my hand. I'm just gonna pick it up and look at it. This is how it's supposed to work, okay? When you got your phone on the table and you pick it up, you're supposed to just go like this and look at it. Before you even reach your finger to do anything, it should be unlocked. Let's try it again. Look at that. You're picking up your phone. As I'm reaching to unlock it, look at my finger. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of sick. Hold on, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. All right, now, I got something right here. Let me, all right, let me swipe up. Before I could touch the screen now, of course, you know, dramatic slow motion, but you get what I'm saying. This is insane. Okay, this is insane. Swipe over once, there's your Google feed. This is the global ROM. Now, one of my biggest gripes about the find that I had, I had the Chinese ROM version. That's the only reason I couldn't fully fall in love with this one, because I had a lot of Chinese apps on it, and I didn't have my Google feed, you know, swipe over like that. I didn't have that. I, that was, that's just one of my petty gripes. I need to have my Google feed when I swipe over. So this is the global ROM, no Chinese bloatware, all right? Everything is official tissue, Google apps installed already. This is pretty dope. Okay, so let's breeze through the uh, basic toggles. See, I got it on auto rotate, no screen rotation. That is what it is. You got your floating windows, you got power saver. Let's see, you got ultra power saver. You got screencast, screenshot, do not disturb, reverse wireless charging. Okay, so you can charge another phone. And keep in mind, the reverse wireless charging is 10 watts, as opposed to 4.5 watts on the Galaxy. So this battery is just killing the Galaxy in every single way. Okay, let's go to settings real quick. Now I read all of my comments, and yesterday I posed one of the questions, do y'all want me to go through the settings or just skip this part? And a lot of people said no, they wanna see the settings because maybe they're coming from an iPhone, or maybe they just wanna see it. If you don't like this part of the video, Double tap your screen and just skip it. If you're using the computer, go to that arrow. Just skip this part of the video. But for y'all cats that's interested, here goes the settings. Okay, so let's go to uh, connections and sharing. Just make sure we got NFC, VPNs, private DNS. And you got your screencast and print. Okay, so all your connections are on deck. Personalizations. Now this is what I'm talking about with color OS as opposed to oxygen OS. I really don't see the big deal that everybody's making about it. I actually like Color OS better. And here's why, always on display. Now, if you got your OnePlus 9 right now, go to your personalized tab and go to always on displays. You can't add your own image and there's only about five or maybe maybe eight to 10 different ones to choose from. This one, you got a bunch of different always on displays. You got your emojis, got the ones that come with it. But more importantly, the custom one. The custom one makes you have unlimited always on displays. Now you can change your themes. Now this, this theme store is not as big as the uh, Galaxy theme store, but there's a lot. There's a lot to choose from. You can change your icons, change your colors. Right now I got it on green. You can change the shapes of the icons. All right, so right now let's see, I got this color scheme. That one's kind of dull. I actually like that green, so we're gonna leave that. Or you can have a custom color. Now you also have your fingerprint animations. Again, on your Oxygen OS, you only got about three. Look how many different fingerprint animations you have with color OS. Okay, now I like that one, let's leave that. Bang. Okay, you got your edge lighting. Okay, a couple of different colors. And that's pretty much it on that. 
Now this phone does have a curved display. It's not too aggressive that you're gonna get uh, accidental touches, and I actually like it. I usually don't like curved displays too much, but the way this feels with the ceramic back and that thick aluminum frame, you want the curved display on this one, all right? Trust me. And look, you see the way this camera is just one piece? I find out when I'm holding the phone, my finger rests right there, and it just it just feels dope. <laughs> I, I don't wanna sound like I'm overselling this build quality, but I really am. This is, it's just incredible. It's just incredible. Let's see what else we got. Let's see, let's go to our home screen and lock screen. Anything, anything we need to see there? Let's see, double tap to lock, swing down, and raise to awake. Turn that on, raise to awake. That's how you get the face unlock to be bong like that. Let's see anything else. Let's go, oh, now watch this. Sound and vibrations. Hold up. The speakers. <laughs> The speakers. <laughs> Wait until I play some music. The speakers on this phone. You know when you're holding a phone and you could feel the bass? That usually happens with a lot of these gaming phones. You can feel the bass. It feels like the phone is almost shaking a little bit. The speakers on this phone. Okay? The speakers on this phone. Crazy. Let's see. Uh, display and brightness. Okay, now I got it on dark mode. Here's the light mode. So if you want to get a better look at the camera which I like, a lot of y'all said y'all like the dark mode better in the videos, so we'll leave that. Screen color mode, we got vivid, natural, you got pro mode, and you can make it uh, cool or warm. I'm leaving it on default, but usually, matter of fact, I'll, I'll make it a little bit cooler. I like it ice cold, actually. <laughs> Let's see what else you got. Okay, you got your image sharpener. Okay, sharpen up your images. Video color enhancer. All right, keep everything nice and bright. Okay, now check this out. Screen resolution, WQHD. Hey, that sounds like a radio station, right? WQHD, quad HD display, screen, rush, uh, screen refresh rate. Now this is variable, so it's gonna save battery. It can drop all the way down to one hertz and go all the way up to 120 hertz. It's a lot of hertz, okay? One hertz is minimum hertage, okay? And 120, maximum hertage. Maximum hertage. Now, that's really not max because we've seen the Red Magic phone with 165. But on, this, on a non-gaming phone, 120 hertz, that's the standard, okay? And you got that on this one. Screen display. Now, if you want to, you could, if you don't like seeing that camera on the top, you can shorten the display and just have a black bar on the top. I don't know why would you do that. It's really not that serious. Let's see. Anything else we need to see? Notifications and status bar. Uh, nothing really to see there. Let's go to passwords and security, face unlock, fingerprint sensor, and smart lock. Okay, let's see, safety and emergency, nothing to see there, privacy. Okay, you got app lock. Okay, now this is this is just scumbag settings. Okay, so you got app lock, lock certain apps. You can hide apps. Okay, there's no thought protection, but you can hide some apps. Okay, so if you live in the scoundrel scumbag life, hide your apps. You got private safe. All right, for all your clandestine photos, and you got your system cleaner, okay? Your clandestine photos, y'all know what I'm talking about. I right, do do not play coy with me. Let's go to battery. Now, the battery on this phone is pretty great, okay? Like I said, I've been using this for a couple of days. The battery is pretty great. No issues with it at all, but the fast charge, okay? Zero to 50%, 12 minutes. Throw it on the wireless charger, zero to 100%, 47 minutes galaxy s22 ultra use a 65 watt wired charge zero to 100 percent one hour think about that for a second one hour to charge up your s22 ultra 12 minutes for 50 percent on this phone how could you not like that how could you not like that that's crazy and that's just another um reason that samsung got to step their game up okay let's see anything else Special features. Now, there is a feature on this. I got to show you that. It's a little bit silly. <laughs> More silly than me. Let's go. Let, let's see. Um, did we see the special features? Okay, so you got your flexible windows. You got your quick return, quick launch, smart slider, kid space, simple mode. I'll show you how to. I'll show you some of this stuff when I do the RDA test. How to flexible windows. It's really simple, though. If I'm on Facebook, okay, swipe up. Oh, actually, um, let's do that again. Floating windows. Okay, so say I go to Facebook. Have my little floating window, okay? Now I can go to Twitter, have my Facebook right there. And if I want to, pop back on Facebook, or I can exit out of all of these. 
Okay, exit out, bong, put this one, tap, close. Okay, back to settings. Now, this is a funny setting I want to show you out. Okay, it's not under, it's, okay, smart services. Okay, you got smart driving and uh, riding mode for when you're in your car or on your bikes. Let's see, digital well-being. I right, monitor your scumbag activities, system settings, about device. Let's see, let's go to, uh, da, 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 well, let's see. Had to be under special features. Let's see, simple mode, no, no, no. I got to find this. Let's see, smart services. System settings. Okay, you got screenshot, screen record. Oh, DJ, nah, nah, nah. I just found this one. <laughs> I just found this the other day. Hold up. Let me see. Let me find this real quick. Hold up. All right, my bad. <laughs> when I'm doing live videos like this, sometimes I'll be getting flustered. Okay, here it goes. Gestures and motions. Okay, so you got the screen off gestures. Okay, so why the screen is off. Okay, double tap to turn on the screen. Draw a circle. Open up the camera. Draw a V for the flashlight. And you can customize your ones that you want. So I do. I did W for Instagram. So let's do a circle. Okay, right to the camera. That's your world star. Let's do a V. Flashlight. Turn it off. Now that was that that, that, that that's kind of cool. But there's one I wanted to show you. Okay, now you got the three finger screenshots. Okay, y'all seen that? Press and hold. Okay, and you can do a little crop like that. Raise to wake, let's, let's see, flip to mute. Okay, nope, there's one more, it's under motions. Hold on, gotta be under motions. Oh, ear gestures, okay, this is it, ear gestures. Now, this is actually kinda gimmicky. Let's learn ear gestures. Okay, so you hold your hand, you gotta hold your hand like this, you're gonna see a little hand pop up at some point. Now I, I had I got it to work a little bit, but it's uh, there it is. Now watch this. This is how it's supposed to work. So say I go to Instagram. All right, let's see what's on Instagram. Now I go like this, and I can swipe up. All right, now that, this is kind of gimmicky. If you're getting a phone call, you can go like this and answer or decline. You know, this is kind of gimmicky, but I can see if you cooking or you're on the treadmill. This could come in handy. Let's see if I can get it. All right, look, there it is. So if you're on the treadmill, once you get the hang of it. Now, right now, this is actually my first couple of times using this. But once you get the hang of this, I can see this coming in handy while I'm jogging on the treadmill. I could be scrolling, checking out the buns without touching the display. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of gimmicky. They took away the microscope camera and added this. Eh, I don't really think that was an even trade. <laughs> I would have rather have the microscope camera as opposed to this. You see the same thing. Now, there's, uh, there's other gestures. If you get the phone, play with it. Here's some of the apps you can use it with. <laughs> play with it for yourself. Now, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Instead of doing all that, let's just go to accessibility. Okay, so if you're hearing or visually impaired, there's all your menus. Okay, so everybody can enjoy this phone. That's pretty much it for the settings. Now, as far as the actual phone for it, uh, itself, swipe over. There's your Google feed. 120 hertz refresh rate, quad HD display. Beautiful. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Snapdragon 8, generation 1. There it is. We hit allow. Bang. Full website. Okay. 13 Pro Max. This trash right here. And I'm just kidding. This is a dope phone. <laughs> we on an Android video, all right? So Apple Mafia, stand down and stand by. Okay. We'll do some Apple stuff later. This is all about Android. All right. Samsung Knights, stand down and stand by also. Okay. So let's go to our split screen. Okay. So we got YouTube on the top. Uh, YouTube on the bottom. Apple on the top. And again, you could use your ear gesture. <laughs> you use your ear gesture. If you could, it's just kind of finicky. You know, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to keep killing y'all with that. Okay. And that's it. So split screen multitasking, no issues on that. Let's exit out of that. There's your internet explorer. And that's it. No issues with the lag or uh, responsiveness. Okay, super smooth. Android 12. So, of course, my favorite Android 12 widgets. You know, take it right to right, take it right to some mob deep. 
Okay? Let's do that again. Okay? Got some mob B playing. Get it just like that. Now, I got the volume on low because I'm, I'm ready to... Got my briefing, my briefing right here. All right, there's getting ready to be a war in Russia. Now, my channel... Is the same thing like when you let me just say this. I've been getting a lot of comments, people asking me why am I posting videos in these trying times. When you come to my channel, think about it as going to a bar. All right, when you go into a bar to have a few drinks with your peoples, there's two things you don't talk about politics and religion. You don't talk about that at a bar. We don't talk about that on my channel. Now, if you want to talk about politics, go to Fox News, go to CNN, MSNBC, Max News, all right, wherever you get your fake news from. Go get it from there, all right? You're never gonna get it from here. This is a tech channel. We're talking about tech, cars, fashion, jewelry, buns, drinking, fun stuff, all right? Fun stuff. None of that bullshit, okay? Just had to get that out there because I'm tired of responding to comments. Anyway, okay, here's all my apps. I know, I'll just be ranting. It's early in the morning. It's too early for this shit. Okay, here we go. Now, let's. Oh, one, one more thing I wanted to show y'all. From your home screen, you got different transitions. Again, here's another dope feature about Color OS. Okay, you got Flip. You got Cube. I actually like Flip. That's one of my. Remember back in the days, y'all young cats probably don't know what I'm talking about, but y'all OGs. Remember we had the root phones when you had your original Galaxy or your Nexus? You had to root the phone in order to get these kind of features. These are stock features now. I like that. So let's go ahead and apply that. Let me show y'all some of these wallpapers. Okay, so for the live wallpapers, look at this. This one is beautiful. Look at this. This one is sick. This one is kind of dope too. And it just takes advantage of this LPTO display. <laughs> you know, I, I, I hate when I have to talk tech like that. This is one of my favorite ones though. This is a classic Oppo wallpaper right here. Okay, classic. Every time I see this blue and red one right here, I think of my Oppo Find. Remember the Find with the motorized camera? That phone was so boss, but this was the wallpaper that I used. Okay, let's see now. You can also have custom wallpapers. Okay, so you can create your own. A lot of stuff to play with on this one. You got online wallpapers, and they do have a nice theme store. I'll show you one that I downloaded real quick. It looks kind of dope. Let's see um, this one right here. Okay, so we got... The water, uh, you can have this as your lock screen and your wallpaper. That's pretty dope. And I also downloaded a little planet. That's pretty sick. This one looks dope too. I think I gotta, I think I gotta drop, I think I gotta drop this one right now. Okay, now look how fast you install that. Set it as home screen and lock screen. And there it is. Yeah, this one is dope. This one's pretty dope. It's like some fire and ice kind of, you know, it looks like an explosion in the sky. It's kind of dope. Okay, anyway, where was we? Okay, so no lag, super smooth, super responsive. Let's start the regular testing. Let's take it over to the speakers. Now, I want y'all to hear these speakers. All right, so of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Check this out. Yo, sound test, type of sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, type of sound test. You could feel the phone vibrating. Look how loud the top is. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Crystal clear. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. Like I said, the speakers on this phone sound incredible. And on the side note, when you're watching that video, if you don't go like this, <laughs> if you don't go like this, then you better reevaluate your life, okay? The speakers on this phone, A1. 
Now let's take a look at this big, beautiful 6.7 inch LTPO Quad HD AMOLED display. Look at this and listen to this and look at this. 1300 nits brightness, that's a lot of nits. Look at the viewing angles, spectacular. Look at that. This is the way you want to watch your videos, okay? Basically, bezel-less phone. A billion color reproduction on this. This is crazy. I. This is crazy. Look at that. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, let's do a little bit of gaming. We got Asphalt 9. Here we go. This phone feels so good to hold. I love it. Okay, here we go. As many phones as I've been doing this week, I should be a master at this game already. Here we go, here we go. All right, let me make sure I'm in frame. Oh, I wrapped, I wrapped. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the easy way this time. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm doing 360 to see if you get any lag. No lag. Perfect. Perfect. Okay? So this phone will easily run Asphalt 9 and then any other game in the Android market. All right, so one more thing I forgot to mention. Now, Oppo did tell me that they're getting ready to release an update for the camera stabilization. And check this out. Update for the camera stabilization. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now, say you happen to be up in the bodega ordering some empanadas, doing your pachata dance, and somebody comes up in there beefing with Poppy and the goons come out the back, I had all of the essays. All you gotta do is grab your phone, hit volume down twice, That'll bring up your camera, start taking your pictures and your videos, and make sure you send them to me immediately. All right, so let's go through some of the different shooting modes. You got night mode. Now, like I said, I don't like talking about the pictures. I like you to look at them and be the judge for yourself, but I gotta talk about these. The night mode camera on this phone is incredible. I literally love it, and I'm gonna be taking some of my nighttime photos using this phone uh, because they just look so dope. Wait, look at this one right here. Matter of fact, look at this. Look at look, yo, look at this from last night. Come on, the, the 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 night photos on this is crazy. Now in night mode, you got wide angle, and you got zoom all the way up to. Oh, look at this. You got twenty times zoom in night mode. Okay. Now you got video. From video, you got four K. Okay, you can shoot four K resolution. At 1080p, uh, 4K, 4K at 60 frames, 1080p. Let's see. Uh, let's do that again. All right, 4K, 60 frames per second, 1080p at 60 and 30. All right, so we'll leave it on 4K, 4K, 60 frames per second. Now you got super stabilization. All right, this is Ultra Steady Pro. You got artificial intelligence and video. You can shoot wide angle. If you want to zoom in, you got to turn off Ultra Steady, and you can zoom in all the way up to 10 times with the photos. Now, if you notice, I with the videos. Now, if you notice, when you went to video, the button turns red. When you go to photos, we got a Hasselblad alert. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see that orange button, that's the Hasselblad alert, and you're gonna get that sound. Y'all hear that? Listen. That's the Hasselblad shutter sound. I love it, I love it. Let's go to portrait mode. All right, so you got portrait mode. You can change your bokeh. You got wide, wide angle, or you can zoom in, and you go to more. So you got expert mode, you got high res, okay, 50 megapixel, Sony image, can, uh, Sony uh, lens, Sony, <laughs> say that right, 50 megapixel, you got the Sony, uh, the Sony old Sony setup. You got panorama, you got movie, slow motion, time lapse, you got long exposure, dual video view. So what that means is you and the person can be in the shot at the same time, all right, that's dual view video. 
dual view video. Is that a term? Dual view, dual view video. What's wrong with me? Dual view video. You got sticker and you got text scanner. Okay. Now again, take a look at these pictures and videos for yourself. I think they look amazing. Now, it wasn't a bright sunny day. All right, so you're not going to get those bright sunny pictures. It's a little bit cloudy outside, but look at the night photos. It was a clear night. Look at the day photos. And on a side note, I'm going to post a lot of pictures right now. And people ask me, why do I post so many pictures when I do my camera test? I can take any phone, any phone out right now. I don't care what it is. It could be this phone. It could be a budget phone. If I go outside on a nice sunny day and take a picture of a tree, it's going to look nice. All right, it's going to look nice to the regular viewer. I'm taking a lot of pictures because I want y'all to see how regular stuff is going to look because everybody doesn't live by a waterfall. All right, taking pictures of the waterfall and the beach and the palm trees. Some people live in a regular neighborhood. Some people go to regular grocery stores, eat regular food. All right, so I'm taking regular pictures so you can see how they look for yourself. Check these out. So now let me show y'all the charging animations. If you use a wired charger, you're gonna get this one. 
Okay, that's pretty dope. And if you use the wireless charger, you're gonna get this one. Let's do that again. Bang, there it is. Okay, so now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent 1,450 bucks on the phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now this phone does have wireless charging, so you might as well get a nice wireless charging dock so you can drop your phone on it just like that. Now you wake up in the morning, you got your always on display, you don't have to touch the phone, you can see the time, the date, and your battery percentage, and your notifications. Now when you wake up, you don't have to press any buttons, just pick up the phone and look at it, bang. Look how fast you get into that. There it is. First thing I like to do, check the weather. Okay, cloudy, 30 degrees, and it is what it is, New York City. Next, let's do a little bit of work. All right, so let's go to, uh, let's go to Gmail. Let's see what we got on deck. Okay. Now this would be my work emails. Scan through Disney Plus. Let's hit reply. That's good. Okay, send that message, just like that. Okay, that's how your email is gonna look. Exit out of that. Nice email widget. Now, say you happen to go out, you get to work, your friend got an iPhone and the battery is dead. All you gotta do, turn on reverse wireless charging, drop the iPhone on it, bang, just like that. Reverse wireless charging. Next, let's do a little bit of social media. Okay, so let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, so we on Facebook. All right, uh, Erica, I <laughs> shout to Erica, somebody just got a new Galaxy. Okay, Oppo, this is exactly what I'm talking about. 1450 bucks, you're gonna see a lot of pictures like this. Lower the price. Okay, the price needs to be a little lower. Y'all hear these speakers? Crazy. Craziness. Okay, oh, look, look, oh, look at the little baby. I do not miss that age, though. I, I do not miss those days. Let's see, okay, look. Oh, <laughs> look, look at me, look, me, this is me and my uncle and my cousin right there. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even see these photos. All right, this was um, last week at the family reunion. We we, we all some big, <laughs> some big country dudes <laughs> at heart. Let's see, okay, let's see. Anything else we need to see on Facebook? Uh, let me see whose photo that was. I need to go back and check that. Oh, matter of fact, look. Okay, got to screenshot that. Oh no, three fingers for the screenshot. There it is, I'm thinking of Samsung. <laughs> Three finger screenshot, I, I got that saved. All right, so that's how your Facebook's gonna look. And matter of fact, while I'm on Facebook, we wanna save that. So let's um, let's float and window this, okay? We'll leave that as a float and window. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. Let's see if anybody talking about me on Twitter. Okay, now you see how I just swiped that to the side? <laughs> that was kinda dope. All right, bong, put, put, put that to the side. Get a little window like that. Okay, let's see. Uh, my favorite tech YouTuber, okay, me, I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, I appreciate that. Let's see, uh, I'll stick with my S21 Ultra, smart man. All right, that's a smart move right there. Okay, so a lot of conversation going down on Twitter, but you got your 120 hertz refresh rate, so we don't need to uh, worry about struggling when we're getting our fast swipes. All right, so that's Twitter. Let's take it over to TikTok. Now for TikTok, we gotta lower the volume. Okay, let's see what's going down. On the TikTok verse. Okay, now to turn, you see? No phone being charged, so it automatically turned the reverse wireless charging off. I like that. Okay, I right, shout out to Joe Rogan. All right, that's my homie, Joe Rogan. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of controversy behind Joe Rogan online, but me and Joe are actual friends in real life, so we, you know, I don't have to go online and make a big deal about it. Like, so everything don't need to be a video. I right, just know that we 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 still cool. Let's see anything else because the, the reason I bring that up every time he's like one of my photo people, are, oh Joe Rogan like your photo. We're friends. That's what friends do. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying like it's not a big deal. Let's keep it moving. Um, come drunk. I right, the drunk bowling. Okay. Okay. Sprite. Okay. This is how your TikTok is gonna look. All right, we skip all the politics immediately. You going to jail, remember this? You going to jail. You about to no, this is you about to lose your job. <laughs> Silliness, yeah. All right. So this is um okay, Red Me. Now who this? Oh, this is this is my man um Anna Bong, bored at work. 
All right. I was going to say something slick because that's my guy <laughs> with his black ass. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to leave it at that. All right. <laughs> that's just my guy. Shout out the board at work. All right. So this is how your TikTok is going to look. <laughs> Keep it moving. I know. I'm mad silly today. All right. So that's TikTok. Next, let's do a little YouTube. Oh, I want to show y'all something real quick. I got a little shout out yesterday. Um, I got I to gotta send, I got to give a reverse shout out. So somebody gave me a shout out. I give them a reverse shout out in return. Okay, I'm a, let me find that, that part of the video real quick. Hold up. Okay, now check this out. Yesterday, I was watching an Unbox Therapy video. There have been 68% overall increase in VR related injuries. Yes, of course. You know, if you have a BMW, like an M, any M car, I think you pretty much have to get this phone. And that's why Flossie Carter has to use this phone now. Because he has, a, he has an M car. Like, like, See? Never mind everything. And uh, shout out to Lou. I, Lou, you was 100% correct. I, I do have to own this phone. I, I, this is a dope video. You see, I already liked it. But yes, I do own this phone. You are right. Anyway, this is how your YouTube is going to look. If you swipe up. Matter of fact, let's hit, let's hit play on that video again. Just... Swipe up. You got your picture in picture. So satisfying. Okay. Let's exit out of that. Bon. So that's how your YouTube is going to look. Keep in mind, I still got the Facebook window right here on the side, ready for action. And last, let's take it over to Instagram. All right, let's oh, this is a family show. What are you doing? All right, hold on. <laughs> Y'all ladies need to calm down, man. All right, this is a family show. This is a family-friendly show. All right, shout out to Five Mics. All right, this is another one of my guys right here doing the real big in the jewelry department. I right, do, doing it real big in the jewelry department. Hey, trying to get like me. All right, shout out to Five Mics. All right, shout out to Ghost Tech. Okay, now we got the Ghost Tech cases coming for the uh, S22 and the uh, Ultra and the Plus. All right, Ghost Tech, one of my favorite brands. Okay, now look, this, this is... um. Uh, uh, Bro, come on! Oh no! Oh, ah. Why did he have to? Oh, who does? Oh, who does in the family show? All right, chill, 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 chill. Okay, let's see. Um, we got the Mary J. Blige No More Drama boots. All right, I like those. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is how your Instagram is gonna look. Okay, y'all remember Jerry Springer? This used to be the show, man. Jerry Springer got me through a lot of tough times. I wa watching the Jerry Springer show early in the morning. Okay. R.I.P. to the homie. Let's see. Black Rambo. Y'all remember me and Black Rambo did the video together? Black Rambo's my guy. He he, he got all of the guns, man. <laughs> he got too many guns. Black Rambo, you got too many guns. Okay, we a little dancing. We got the Batman Air Max. Okay, cool. Now, you can also use your gestures. All right, so say you happen to be on the treadmill or you happen to be cooking. All right, <laughs> say you happen to be cooking. <laughs> Oh boy, did your swipe gestures. I mean, your air gestures. Now that I'm getting the hang of it, it's actually not as gimmicky as I thought. Let's see if we can go back down. Can we go go back down? Go back down. No, no, down. <laughs> All right, well, no, we didn't miss it. Okay, there it is. Now, who's that, Hennessy Carolina? I just Cardi B's sister. Okay. <laughs> I need the down to work. How does the down work? Let's see. <laughs> maybe you maybe only swipe up. I don't know. Y'all remember this guy? Look, if you remember this guy, you old. Alright, y'all know Tom. If you remember Tom, you old like me, bro. Alright, there it is. Just swipe. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> Look at those. Bro, what are those? What are those? Anyway, this is how your Instagram is gonna look. RDA activities, regular daily activities, no issues at all. Okay? Overall, let me go ahead and wrap this up. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Oppo Find X5 Pro a major, major, major go. I love this phone. Like I said, this is my second best phone of uh, 2022, only behind Galactus. I got to think of a dope name for this one. All right. This is, the, this is a white joint right here. So hit me up in the comments. Come through with some names, which I call in this one. Oh, this this one is sick though. Though this is it. This is sick. I got to think of something that's slick for this. The build quality, battery life, cameras are insane. Speakers are insane. Process is insane. But the price is insane. <laughs> all, all that insane stuff. The price is a little insane too. But if you can afford this, all right, y'all know the bottle. You got to pay to play. If you want to play with something like this, you're gonna have to pay. But it's gonna be worth it. All right, just bring your own lube. And uh, that'll help ease the pain, but it'll be worth it. 
This is a triple major go. I love this. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Two dope oppo phones. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money me all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.